Okay, if everybody can take their seats, please. Okay, good afternoon. I know a lot of you have returned uh, from our session that we had this morning. Again, uh, my name is Leroy Jansky. I'm the committee chairperson for this year's uh, Vietnam Veterans Day program. Uh, I did appreciate the uh, the support that I got from the members on the committee. We had uh, uh, basically meetings once a week for the last couple of months. And so things seem to come together pretty good. Uh, I would mention that uh, if there was some confusion about the food arrangements here today, uh, which was never advertised to have a free meal with it, with lunch on your own. That means that you have to pay for it yourself, and that's why I gave directions to uh, the people here, well, the Burger King and the, and the, and the Culver's and McDonald's here. Plus, uh, the facility here has excellent food, though, too, particularly on Friday nights. They have a good fish dinner here, too. At any rate, uh, so without any further ado, uh, we're going to have the, uh, uh, the program get started here as soon as I get the hokey dokey from the commander of the honor uh, color guard back there. Are you ready to go back there? Okay. If you could stand, if, you, if you're able, please do so, and we'll have the VBA Chapter 5 uh, post the colors. Present. Okay, please, after me, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. Please, please the flag. Homes. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arms. At this time, we'll have Warren Petrick, our Wisconsin 93rd Assembly person, to sing the national anthem. Set. Peace. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rest Hearts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. That star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Order. Earth. Thank you, Warren. You can dismiss your color guard. Color guard, dismissed. Have a seat. Okay, thank you again very much. At this time, please remain standing if you're able. Excuse me. 
We'll have our opening prayer by Ron Carter, U.S. Army veteran, Vietnam. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Universal Commander-in-Chief, thank you for loving us and watching over generations of warriors. We gather today to recognize the selfless service and sacrifice of our Vietnam veterans, our Hmong Lao veterans, and our Vietnam era veterans. Thank you for watching over and helping our family and friends as they love and support us in our endeavor to serve our country and the freedom of the peoples of the world. We thank you for those who worked hard to put this commemoration together. We ask that this may be a time of remembering and learning for each of us. We ask that you continue to be with those who still carry burdens of the Vietnam War and other wars and conflicts. Please lay your hand of power and peace and contentment on them and their families. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We have another short ceremony to go through up here, and that's the POW MIA table ceremony. You may sit during this ceremony, and this is uh, going to be presented by uh, Harry Bauer, commander of American Legion Post 77 in Chippewa Falls. Larry Werner um, is the chaplain for Post 77, uh, and he'll be uh, uh, in the back, I think, uh, going in the bell, ringing the bell, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, please uh, escort the, uh, uh, the guests forward, please. The table before you is a place of honor. It is set for one. The table is our way of symbolizing the fact that members of our profession of arms are missing from our midst. They are commonly called POWs, MIAs. We call them brothers. As you see, the table is set for one is small, symbolizing the frailty of one person alone against his oppressors. Remember. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. Remember. The single red rose displayed in the vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who keep the faith awaiting their return. Remember. The red ribbon tied so prominently on the vase is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn upon the lapel and breast of thousands who bear witness to their unyielding determination to demand a proper accounting of our missing. Remember. The candle. The candle is lit symbolizing the upper reach of the uncomfortable spirit. Remember. The sliced lemon is on the bread plate to remind us of their bitter fate. Remember. There are cells on the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears as they wait. Remember. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us today. Remember. The chair, the chair is empty. They are not here. Remember. Remember of all you who served with them and called them comrades who depended upon their might and aid and relied upon them, for surely they have not forsaken you. Remember. 
Remember, until the day that they come home. Remember. Thank you very much, Governor. Okay, um, if I can call Dennis Wood up here, we'll have some opening comments uh, about uh, Vietnam Veterans Day. Just a, a little history, and I don't have it memorized, so maybe, maybe Dennis does, but I have it written down here so I can talk about it. Is that maybe a lot of you don't know this? Uh, is that uh, it was way back, and of course that's why we're celebrating this back on March 29, 1972, and I was actually over off the shores of Vietnam at that, at that particular time, 43 years ago, the last troops were withdrawn from South Vietnam. A year later, uh, President Nixon was still uh, the president, and by presidential order, Vietnam Veterans Day was established uh, in 1974. Moving way ahead to seven years ago, and through the efforts of uh, Thuy, or Thuy Smith, Thuy Smith um, and uh, her organization, and a bunch of uh, Concerned Vietnam veterans, uh, Governor Doyle signed legislation establishing uh, March 29th as Vietnam Veterans Day in Wisconsin. That was in July of 2009. In March 29th of 2010, okay, we had the, the first event held, I think it was at North High School, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct, I think? Is that correct? I can't I'm sure that's right. Okay. At North High School, very well attended event down there, very well organized. And basically, uh, we move ahead to today. Uh, this is our sixth annual event after the first one. And uh, this was organized by the Chippewa Valley uh, Vietnam Veterans Day Planning Committee, which I'm the chairperson of. Uh, the uh, the uh, treasurer is, is Joel Heil, right there, back in the back there. Uh, and we had a bunch of other members, too, uh, on the committee. Uh, Kay Olson was on the committee. We had Dennis Werlein, Jim Bala, who was he's here someplace. Uh, he was on the committee. I think who else was there? Uh, a number of other guys. Oh, now uh, uh, Zong was there on the committee. He showed up one day, all the way from I think was it Wausau where you come from. So he he came there one day, was on the sat on the committee with us, and this is how it ended up today. So I hope at least you're you're enjoying it. Uh, Harry, uh, are you back yet? Uh, if you need, uh, maybe he can go around to the tables during uh, some of the presentations. We do have an evaluation form. Uh, we would like to hear back from you if if you hated the presentations today. You can say that we got relatively tough skin. Okay, I don't know about Harry, but I do. Uh, anyway, but uh, we can take the comments because what we want though is constructive criticism. We just want to say, you know, it sucked or something like that. We want something to say, it sucked and you can make it better by doing this. So that'd be okay. But we hope you're enjoying the afternoon session here too. It looks like most of you came back for a second dose, which is commendable on your part. You are dedicated. Um, so a couple of things about the commemorative partner program. You see the flags up in this wall and that wall there. Uh, there's a number of organizations, uh, VVA Chapter 5, my post, BFW 1038, uh, Walmart, um, the uh, Lowell, Wisconsin, Lowell Veterans of Wisconsin um, is a commemorative partner. And we have basically pledged to, to put on these events every year, or do something at least, maybe a couple times a year. And the big thing is, is that, and the reason we do this, and I'll just read this from what the commemorative partnership uh, uh, says here, is to thank and honor veterans of the Vietnam War, including personnel who were held as prisoners of war or listed as missing in action for their service and sacrifice on behalf of the United States, and to thank and honor the families of those veterans. We want to highlight the service of the armed forces during the Vietnam War and the contributions of federal agencies and government and non-governmental organizations that served with or in support of the armed forces. We want to pay tribute to the contributions made on the home front. We forget about them so often. And it's been probably just in the last uh, you know, 10 years or 15 years that we've really paid attention to the, to the families left on the home front and they're, the way they're suffering and stuff because of the loved ones being on active duty and overseas and in harm's way. Um, so we pay tribute to them during the Vietnam War. The high, uh, to the highest uh, highlight of the advances of technology and science, believe it or not, that medicine related to military research has done. We talked about all the types of cancer this morning that you can get because of the uh, effects of Agent Orange. Well, just think about the research, the scientific research that's gone into it, you know, and not to say that we were guinea pigs necessarily, but because of that, and the advances, 
We have so many people that says they survived their cancer treatments. It was probably hell going through it, but the point is they are still here to talk about it, a lot of them, and that's because of those advances in technology and medicine. And lastly, we'd like to recognize the contributions and sacrifices made by the allies of the United States during the war, particularly the, the Hmong Lao uh, veterans that are here that have paid too. I think they've been to probably every single one of these, if I can remember correctly. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, we have been. And that's great. They have contacted us. We've got back to them, we've become friends, and Dennis is probably more familiar with them than him. And I'll turn it over to Dennis for a couple minutes for any of his comments. Well, I'm going to keep it real short because you pretty much covered uh, a lot of things that I wanted to make sure we got. So I did that on purpose. Thank you, Leroy. And I, I, I think we ought to give Leroy a hand. He's done an awesome job. Uh, uh, look around the table as you see uh, uh, everybody here, uh, mostly mostly veterans. But we want to make sure that the families are included too, and not just the Vietnam War, because the Vietnam veterans are the ones who stood forward and said, never again will one generation abandon another. So we pay tribute to all our veterans, World War II, World War I, uh, Vietnam, all, all the way up through to the current uh, members who are serving our country and, and protecting our freedoms. So when we have these events, please bring your families because they are the ones who supported us and kept us going. Uh, look around what you've got here. Please bring more. I think every year now we're going to have a great program as we do, uh, uh, Leroy and the, and the uh, uh, committee have done an awesome job of putting this together. It's a lot bigger than we had even last year, so it's growing because of you. So word of mouth, and, and I just want to say thank you all for being here. I, I'm not going to take up much time because you've got a great program. You have to operate your camera over there besides yeah. that, so we gave him a job to do there, too. I mean, stay out of our hair, so. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Uh, if you haven't got the 2016 commemorative pin for today, I believe over at the registration table there, we have a bunch of those. Just make sure you take uh, you know, one or so for that. Maybe two of them, if you can squeeze one out of them back over there. But we have uh, quite a number of made up. And Dennis did mention, but tomorrow, uh, in Ladysmith, see, you should have talked a little bit longer, so you're leaving all the talking up to me, okay? In Ladysmith, um, and maybe better come back up here, because I don't know if I know the details of the signs on the Ladysmith. Vietnam Veterans Day is tomorrow in Ladysmith. I'm sorry, yes, I, I didn't want to bring this up because our color guard from the Vietnam Veterans uh, uh, of America, Chapter 5, are the ones who posted the colors here and led the colors in. They'll also be there tomorrow. Tomorrow we have an awesome event planned in Russ County. It's at the Veterans Memorial Association at 605 Summit Avenue. Uh, registration starts at 1130. 12 o'clock we're going to start serving a meal. There's no cost to this meal. We've got... Uh, my, my son himself is smoking the pork right now. We've got about 60 pounds of pork butt, so we need a lot of people up there to help eat this up. It's all by offerings, and because of the donations we got last year, help pay for this year's event. So if you see any donation jars around, please give generously because that's what it's about. At 1 o'clock, we've got probably one of the longest uh, held POW prisoners in the Vietnam War, Dan Doughty. Uh, will be our feature speaker. We'll also have Dave Seen, who is also a, a part of our committee member, too. Uh, he'll be a speaker. We've got uh, retired Command Sergeant Major John Vacco uh, will be up there. He is also a Gold Star parent. Uh, he will be doing the presentation on the, on the POW table. Our speakers will be uh, pretty quick. We also have Kern Morgan who's going to be up there. He has been my uh, right-hand man in helping get our, our program set up up there. Uh, again for our sixth annual. Uh, we're going to have food from 12 o'clock till about 12.45, then we're going to shut down the bar, shut down the kitchen, we're going to have our program. Uh, after the program we'll have open mic, I'm sure you're going to have that here too, a little bit, uh, but we'll have an open mic, uh, so after the colors are retired, and then we'll have food and, and uh, whatever left of the food will be available too. So plenty of food to eat, uh, good warm hospitality, great people, uh, uh, I probably missed a couple of our uh, speakers, but it, it's going to be a great event. So please, if you can get up to Russ County, we would be glad to have you. Uh, we have a question here. Is that at the BFW post? No, there is no BFW post. It's the Veterans, Veterans Memorial Association, where the BFW also has their meetings. But it's the DAV, American Legion, AMVETS. By the arm. Uh, by the arm. By the arm. Yes, by yes, yes, yes. So it is the Veterans Memorial Association. A lot of people refer to it as a BFW. It's not. It's all veterans organizations. So thanks. Good question. Okay, thank you very much. I think it's right on the north side of Lady Smith. You go over to railroad tracks and turn right up there. And you're yes. Right there. Okay. That's the second railroad track. Okay. 
Go back two railroad tracks, wait for the train though. <laughs> okay. Um, at this time, I would like to recognize all the branches of the service. So um, if, if you have, uh, if you served the United States Army, if you could put this probably you raise your hands. If you did that, you served in the United States Army. Holy oh, smokes, I can see the navies. Oh, okay, you put your hands now, thank you very much. How about the United States Marine Corps? Uh, United States Navy, myself included. And the U.S. Air Force? How about our United States Coast Guard? I know there was some Coasties over there. None here today. I know I have one at, at, on, the, on the Veterans Day every year. I do a little presentation in church, and we always get at least one Coast Guard guy there. It makes me feel good. I got someone stand up during the, the service for that. So thank you very much. At this time, uh, we will move on. Uh, oh, and then I forgot that the, the long long veterans are, there's about a dozen of them. Raise your hands back here, all you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.